just a quick update on some of the latest news and rumors in Micro Four Thirds. And there's a new camera on the market, a brand new Micro Four Thirds camera from a new company who has entered the market. And Logitech have launched the Mevo Core, which is a brand new camera based on a Micro Four Thirds sensor and a Micro Four Thirds mount, which is fantastic. Just when we think that Micro Four Thirds is an ailing format, a new camera company, a new a company has brought out a new camera, which is amazing. The Mevo Core isn't a standard camera. It's a YouTube internet streaming camera, which is packed with features and looks like a really good camera to use if you're into streaming and YouTubing. It looks like a really good option. And it's great to see another manufacturer bringing out a Micro Four Thirds camera. I don't have all the details of that camera, but it's got definitely got loads of features that the people that do YouTube videos or do live streams and all sorts of applications, it will work really well. And with a Micro Four Thirds sensor, it will really provide a a lot more detail and and better light quality than the much smaller um, sensors that are in these, these streaming cameras today. Another piece of Micro Four Thirds news, which I'm seeing as positive, but you could look at it in either either way, is that OM Digital Solutions has announced or reported that sales for the EP7 and the OMD EM10 Mark IV are, are, are significantly higher, and that is affecting production and delivery times. That's really good news. There's lots and lots of rumours of why that is or whether that's actually true or just a piece of marketing. But I like to think that if OM Digital Solutions are getting more orders for their cameras, it's got to be a good thing. It might be that they've been working really hard to conquer the market in China and China buying into these smaller cameras. And as we've seen from the success of the Fujifilm X106, that might have a knock-on effect onto the Olympus EP7. So it could be that. It could be lots of different reasons. But I actually like to think that's good news. So lots of interesting stuff going on in the Micro Four Thirds world. And thank you very much for watching indeed. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.